Alright, so today I decided to finally install the oil catch can. Now this one I got from Amazon. It was uh, $25 plus tax. This is the box that it came in. I'm not sure what to look at on there, but all, all it is just an oil catch can. That's just how it looks. It does have a kind of like a dipstick so you can check your level, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, to drain the oil, you just open it from underneath from right here. You just twist until it comes apart. Uh, this is what it comes with. It does come with the stainless steel wool, whatever they call it. I think, I believe you put this inside so the oil doesn't bounce around. I didn't put mine yet. Uh, it does come with these fittings, different sizes. I do use the biggest fitting, half inch. And then it comes with these uh, useless holes. Do not use this holes, just throw it out. Don't use it for nothing. Anyways, that's just what it comes in here. So to do this setup, it was actually very simple. I did it in like, I think 15 minutes, maybe 20. So this is a seven inch length hose. It's a half inch inner diameter. And of course these are half inch that comes with your, in the package. Um, I actually mounted this on, you can see it doesn't have no, it doesn't bounce around. It doesn't rub onto nothing. Not here, not underneath. It's free. And the reason why it's kind of like holding in pretty good, I use just one tie strap right there onto the clamp for the air box. Now, of course, you do have to access this once in a while, every 10, maybe 20,000 miles, depending on the area where you live and how much dust you pull in through your filter. But the setup was, like I said, 15 minutes. This is a seven inch hose, and I believe this is an 11 inch hose. And right there at the bottom, where this is supposed to go, this is the original part that goes right in there, and this goes in here. I used this piece right here. So it's a 5 8 inner diameter, the bigger one, that's the one that goes actually into, the, into your um, air intake boot, right there. And the other one, is a half inch that goes onto your hose. So I use no clamps. All these are pretty snug on there. There's no way you're gonna pull these out no matter how hard I pull. They will, I mean, they'll come out, but you gotta really pull. And this is all vacuum. So there's no pressure out where you need to put clamps. So I did not use clamps. Make sure this is tight. Okay, this one is tight. So it doesn't come loose on you. So that's about it. And the reason why I put this is because oil was traveling down this tube into the actual turbo and going throughout the whole high pressure side which is your intake and it was pushing oil down my vacuum lines which that's not good because now I got a problem my head is calling all the anyways right there on top hard right, to see there's oil and that's because it's turbo was creating boost into your intake I believe it was pushing oil through here now I bypass this just temporarily so I can have boost and this actually goes right in here through your sensor which I think this sensor has probably oil in it and then uh, this crap if I remember where this one went uh, okay this goes here and this one goes in here but like I said, there's oil in them, and I was I was losing boost, so I might have to take this apart and clean it uh, to make it work properly. So that was my main reason why I did that. Now, if you decide to go on a cheaper route and take this out from there and just let it sit down there, you can do that, but it is gonna smell. This vehicle, unfortunately, does have blow-by. It is old. It's a '93 Mercedes-Benz W140. Uh, with the 3.4 turbo diesel and it does have blow by when it gets warm so by having this here just like that there's gonna be two things as your engine is boosting you have more blow by which oil is gonna start coming this this is a little bit loose so oil is coming down through here then through the tube leaking down there I didn't want that and of course 
when you idle, you're gonna smell it inside. So you definitely had to put a catch can so the fumes, the blow by, goes back into your turbo and it back into your intake, into your engine and reburns it. Supposedly you get better gas mileage, but you do not want oil to go into your intake. That's why we installed this catch can. Very simple, $25. Now this hose, I did get it off eBay. It came in a 25 foot. I got a 25 foot because I got to do four more cars. So I wanted to make sure I got enough. As you can see, I got another one here. Oh wait, oh, no, this is from mine. Anyways, I don't know where the other one is. There's one here, there should be like two more. Uh, I believe there's five. So I wanted to make sure that I got enough hoses to continue uh, on all the other three cars or four cars. But yeah, this is the setup. Like I said, 15 minutes. And does it work? Yes, it does. I did start it up and uh, I pull this out right here and you can see the steam coming out like i said i did not use the mesh inside so it's uh, it should be okay this is just a, a, a trial right now so we'll see as oil is accumulating um i'm gonna actually take this out right here and look inside and see if i see any oil residue down the pipe if there's oil residue i'm gonna probably use this stainless steel wool so when it bounces the oil doesn't spill i mean this is a mercedes-benz it doesn't bounce it's not like I'm taking it off road, but if you do take it off road, you got to use a smash. If not, your oil is going to jump up and it will eventually go to through your uh, suction side. And that would defeat the purpose of hang, having a uh, oil catch can. So I think I covered everything up. Like I said, there was no modification. Then I have to change nothing at all besides just removing this tube and putting this on. So if you guys want to do this to your W140 with the turbo diesel or just any, I don't care, diesel, gas, whatever you got, you must have one of these. It does help a lot. And it also helps not to clog your uh, intake with the... Uh... Oh, another thing that I, I had a problem, my EGR was completely clogged right in here. Completely clogged. So that was one of the reasons why I had to put this on to prevent this easier to get clogged and my all my vacuum lines as you can see the oil was traveling through the vacuum lines and look in here see that there's oil in there that's not supposed to have oil and that's because it's pushing through the boost side oil and just traveling through all the vacuum lines so this is the only way that you can solve this problem well, I think I covered everything and that should do it. There's a closer up if you want to take a look. How it looks. Tape measure because I was measuring, you know, the spike, like I said, 7 inch, and I believe this is 11 inch. It's all clear. Oh, it came up because I pulled on it. I, I'm gonna have to put maybe another um, uh, tie strap. Then realize if I pull on that, it'll come up. So I decided to take my other one apart, unscrew it so you can see how it is inside. how it is inside nothing really to it it just screws on make sure you tighten this pretty good don't over tighten it but tighten it pretty good so when it vibrates if it vibrates it doesn't come loose on you and then you'll drop this whatever you got that mounted 